on the way to the Vatican City for a tour and I'm running late so <laughs> let's hope I make it on time okay <laughs> Vatican City is the smallest country in the world and it is ruled by the Pope, who is the Bishop of Rome and head of the Roman Catholic Church. While you're in Vatican City, you should visit the Vatican Museums, the Sistine Chapel, St. Peter's Basilica, and the Vatican Gardens. Since it is a place of prayer, you must follow the dress code and wear respectful clothing. Just make sure your shoulders and knees are covered or they might not let you in. I recommend wearing comfortable shoes too since you'll be walking a lot. When you're entering, there's going to be a ticket line and then a separate security line. You can limit your waiting time significantly by booking your ticket in advance or even scheduling a tour that skips the line. I did the Roman Guys Detailed Itinerary Vatican in a Day Tour because I wanted to view as much of the Vatican as possible. The tour did include early entry, which I highly recommend because as the tour continued throughout the day, it did get more crowded and we were able to skip a lot of that crowd in the morning. Always make sure to look up in Italy, especially in churches and museums. There are often extraordinary masterpieces on the ceilings. There are many, many different tours for the Vatican. So I'm going to put some links in the description, some helpful websites to kind of help you plan out your trip and see the different tour options if that's something you're interested in. So you can kind of decide what works best for you. Here's an example of how crowded it can get if you don't get an early entry tour or if you just come at the peak times. They do have a rule that you can't take any pictures or videos of the Sistine Chapel. So this video doesn't have any footage of it, but you can find some images online. After my tour, I decided to climb to the top of St. Peter's Basilica and check out the dome and everything in the view of Vatican City. That was amazing, like I really recommend it. The steps are super narrow and the like walls kind of cave in on you. so. If you don't do well in tight spaces or if you have trouble like just going up a lot of steps, you might not want to do it because it is kind of like intense at times, but the view is spectacular. I'm currently at the top of the Basilica. It's an amazing view. <laughs> Entrance to the Basilica is free, but if you want to climb to the top of the dome, you do have to pay a small fee. So if you want to take the lift to the terrace plus 320 steps that's eight euros and if you want to climb the full 551 steps it's six euros that concludes my experience at the vatican if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment like this video and subscribe thanks